Okay, so I saw this tweet and someone said, doing a full discography listen when I find an artist I'm very interested in. And then someone court retweeted and said, the heartbreak of when the rest of their music isn't as good as the song you discover them by. And for a few artists, this rings true for me and I wanted to share. First up, we got Stevie Wonder. Now, I know everyone's about to be clutching their pearls, but this is something I've even told my friends and like, I know it's kind of controversial to say. But basically, I got into Stevie Wonder by Songs in the Key of Life. And I also really love his Intervisions album. I liked music of my mind and maybe one other album but every time people talk about this five album run i can never get into talking book and i can never get into fulfilling this first finale i have tried i've went to these albums five or six times trying to see what everybody else sees i might have a song or two that i have saved from these albums but i just can't get into it i can't and most of stevie wonder's discography it's just not living up to songs in the key of life and intervisions those are main albums i really go to by him and like i said i have another album or two i like by him but i basically never revisit those and I just keep going back to the same two albums over and over and over again because that's the music that I like. And one of my friends told me I should check out his characters album. And I'm definitely going to give that a listen to see, you know, if it's my jam. But I don't think it's going to be because, like I said, those two albums I don't really go up for. And I try to listen to the albums after this, like Harder Than July, for example, and also In Square Circle. I don't really like those albums either. So, yeah, I just can't really get into it. I can't. I tried. It's just not. And we got Christina Aguilera. I don't like Christina Aguilera's first album. You know, they definitely were trying to put her into that Mariah bag, in a sense, listening to the album. I just think it's very disappointing. I think it was carried by the singles. And Come On Over was the number one song when i was born and i actually hate that song that's one of my least favorite christina singles and then we got stripped i think stripped is a great album it does weaken out towards the end you know i will say that and then there was that three track run it was like sore and makeover and cruise i think it was those three songs those songs are absolutely atrocious but you know you also have some great stuff on here like underappreciated can't hold us down featuring little kim I really liked Fighter on this album, Walk Away. So there's a lot to like on this album and I can appreciate Christina kind of taking control of her own image at this time. Back to Basics, carried by the singles. I don't really care a lot for the album tracks on this. I got very bored listening to it and it was just so long and yeah. Bionic, one of my friends told me, they were like, you have to listen to Bionic. It's one of Christina's best albums. I hate Bionic. I listened to Bionic and I was like, she actually deserved to flop. You know, I get why people are saying Lady Gaga from Shein because that's what this album was giving. The songwriting on here is horrible and the album just runs so unbelievably long i think i had a few songs saved i like uh sex for breakfast and maybe like two other songs but this is an album that i'm not planning on listening to again i would not recommend this album if you're thinking about listening to it you know i would deter you from it and you might listen to this album and like it you might disagree with me but i actually hate bionic like it just wasn't good so those were a few artists discographies where it's like i can't really get into anything else besides those albums and sometimes that happens to me with artists it's like i kind of get stuck on one album it's hard to move on to the next and sometimes you just try to listen to other stuff and it's not really as good as the first thing that you really liked by them and so i just thought that this was interesting to talk about those are two examples that came to mind but let me know do you guys agree with me do you disagree with me is there any artist that this has happened to with you and how did you you know kind of navigate that did you find a similar artist to them that you really liked did it not click for you in the moment but you came back to it and you're like i really like this album because that kind of happens sometimes but those are just you know some other albums that i couldn't really get into even though i tried to know it might be a little bit controversial but you know that's my opinion and let me know what you guys think in the comments and let's continue that conversation